Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to The Hobby. I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. In today's episode, we're gonna cover some promo Pokemon cards that have been released in Japan as well as the UK that are really making headlines. Some of these cards are really cool and they are some exclusive chases available both right now in England as well as Japan. And I think these are cards that you guys are definitely gonna want to nab. As well, we're gonna cover Champion's Path because it's only been under a week since the release of Champion's Path and I think that was probably the most insane uh, release of a Pokemon card set I've seen in a long time. I've never had lines that long for the products before. Uh, I was waiting in lines at some store with uh, like 30 other people just to get a chance at one Champion's Path uh, Elite Trainer Boxes, it was that insane. And of course, store shelves were empty everywhere. Prices on both the Shiny Charizard V and the Charizard V Max have significantly declined in value, but that slowed down. So we're definitely gonna talk about the prices on the card and pretty much how Champion's Path will do long-term in today's episode. First up, we definitely have to talk about the Charizard Illustration promo card that will be released in late October. I know a lot of you guys are super hyped for this card because I get questions on it constantly. Pretty much the only way to get this card is to purchase five booster packs from a Pokemon Center in Japan or a participating game store. In late October, if you purchase five packs, you will get one of these Illustration promo Charizard as a free giveaway. They do this a lot in Japan where you purchase five packs and you get an extra Pokemon card. Super common. There's actually a promotion very similar to this going on right now that we'll talk about in a little bit. But in general, a lot of people are saying that this card is going to be really, really expensive and I just don't see that. I see a lot of people showing me eBay sale prices for this card going for $45 to $50. And I just want to say be patient. I would not recommend you purchasing this card for $50, especially on eBay. Those are pre-sale. Vendors do not have this card yet. It will not be available in hands for another four weeks. So I would not recommend you purchasing this card for upwards of $50. I think a more fair price for this card is anywhere below 20. A great example of a promotion like this card is Red's Pikachu. If you haven't ever heard of the story behind Red's Pikachu, it was a really big deal in the Pokemon scene a couple of years ago because this card single-handedly sold out all Pokemon packs in Japan for two months. You could not find a single pack of Pokemon cards in Japan because to get this card, you had to purchase five Pokemon booster pack and this card was so incredibly popular that it sold out Pokemon cards in Japan everywhere. And this promo was heavily, heavily printed. You could find so many copies of this card. Most collectors at the time did not have one copy of Red Pikachu. If you collected Red Pikachu, you had 100, you had 200. I know some collectors who have over a thousand copy of Red Pikachu because that's how abundant it was available and prices for this card definitely tank. It doesn't mean it's not a cool card. It doesn't mean it's not a popular card. It just means that the supply was so high that this card definitely dropped in prices. At its low point, you could buy an ungraded copy of Red's Pikachu for $3, and there were people selling Red's Pikachu by the hundreds. You didn't buy one. People were selling lots of 100 copy of Red's Pikachu, and I think the illustration Charizard card is headed for a very, very similar scenario where the copies of the card will be readily available. I will not guarantee a certain price point because it is Charizard and a lot of people are gonna want this card, but in general, it's not going to be a super rare card. That can get flipped on its side if Pokemon decides to only print five copies of it and give those to stores, but that's extremely unlikely. Considering how many booster packs they're gonna sell this card, they're gonna be giving away this card for quite a while. There's going to be a lot of copies of it. So I would just recommend you be patient. We still have four more weeks until this card comes out. So I would not recommend you currently buy it for the excessive pre-sale price of $50 and above. Next up, let's talk about Astonishing Bolt Tackle. That is the current 
latest Pokemon card set in Japan, and it is our upcoming set, Vivid Voltage. This set is making a lot of headwind in Japan because it's an incredibly popular set. I was actually surprised by some of the expensive cards in the set. You have cards like uh, Secret Rare, Hyper Rare, Pikachu V Max, the famous fat uh, Gigantamax Pikachu, super cool card. This card, if you were able to pull it in one of your Astonishing Volt Tackle pack, is worth $150 is the current going price for this card and I don't see the price on this card dropping at all. There are also a ton of super popular trainers that are in this set including B, uh, Leon, and of course fan favorite Nessa. There are two versions of this card the full art version and the secret rare version and both versions are going for upwards of $50. Pretty much any of the trainer cards are $50 and above because a lot of people enjoy these specific trainers and I can totally understand why uh, Nessa is like the Cynthia of the Galar region. So a bunch of super popular and highly demand and collectible cards are inside of Vivid Voltage. If you want to purchase a Vivid Voltage booster box and you're living in the United States, Canada, United Kingdoms, then don't worry about it. You don't have to purchase one straight from Japan. They're actually readily available on places like eBay and Amazon. I actually have a link in the description for uh, the Amazon stores. If you are looking to purchase some Vivid Voltage booster boxes, they're only around $50. You don't have to jump through any hoops. We're definitely going to open some Vivid Voltage booster boxes on my channel. And the chase card that I want for this set, surprisingly, is not going to be the Hyper Rare Pikachu V Max, although that'd be super cool if we pull it because that's $150 cards. But the chase card that I currently want is the full art regular version of Nessa because I think that card absolutely looks gorgeous and we definitely have to get a copy of it for our collection. As a part of the release of Astonishing Volt Tackle in Japan, currently there is an ongoing promotion where they are giving away one of five Pikachu promo cards to anyone that purchased five booster packs. If you purchase five booster packs, you will get a copy of one of these promotional cards. It comes in a non-see-through pack and you will not know what you get until you open one of them. Currently, the Pikachu VMAX promotional card is going for well over $100 and the main reason for that is because the odds are not equal for which card you will get inside of your promotional pack. If you want to purchase one of these promotional packs, I have seen them on sale for around $8 to $10 on places like eBay and Amazon. That is a pretty decent price considering that the Pikachu VMAX is upwards of $100. And the main reason for that is the odds of pulling the Pikachu V Max is extremely low. You're much more likely to get one of the three regular Pikachu promo cards. And every now and again, you'll get a Pikachu V. But the odds of pulling the Pikachu V Max is currently around 2% is what a lot of people are guessing it at. And that's the main reason why the card is so incredibly expensive. Truth be told, I actually did purchase a couple of copies of the Pikachu VMAX promo card for the price point of around $100, which I know is pretty expensive for a modern promo card, but I really, really wanted it. I just think this Pikachu VMAX looks really adorable, it's really fluffy, and I wanted it in my collection. The fact that it was kind of hard to pull one and there was a little bit of a chase to it made me want it even more. So we'll see how well this card does long term. Can't wait for it to arrive in the mail and hopefully they are in mint condition because I would love to have them graded. We also have some super cool promotional Pokemon cards that are currently only available in the United Kingdom. These are part of a three year partnership with the Pokemon Company and the United Kingdom Football Association, something like that, where they're trying to promote the uh, sport, futsal, which is indoor soccer. And it is really convenient because it's right around the same time as, of course, COVID. So it's kind of interesting. I wonder if uh, the virus and quarantine had anything to do with this. But yep, it's going to be a promotion for futsal, the indoor version of soccer pretty much and there are going to be five promotional cards that are only available in the united kingdom these are eve on the ball pikachu on the ball as well as sable 
Grookey, and Score Bunny on the ball. These are the actual names of the card. In general, the currently only the Eevee promo is available right now. But if you go into some participating sports stores in the UK, you will be able to get the Sobble, the Grookey, and the Score Bunny. The price point for the EV card, which is the first one that's currently available, is staying strong at around $25 a card. And it is a pretty adorable card. I can see why some people want it. And I think this is a really cool promo. You do not see promos outside of Japan very often. This is a really unique set. It is an actual set where it has a set number rather than a promo number. And I think the rarest one, if you were to find one, would be the Pikachu uh, card, Pikachu on the ball. And the main reason for that is because you cannot actually get this card from purchasing anything. The only way to get the Pikachu card is to be a kid playing inside of Pokemon's Futsal League, which is going to be really interesting because that's going to make this card really hard to find because collectors can't get it, their hands on it. The only way to really foreseeably get this card is to have a kid uh, get a copy of it by being a part of the Pokemon Futsal League and then somehow miraculously selling that card on Amazon or eBay or something like that. So it's going to be really hard to find a copy of the Pikachu version, I think. It's going to be definitely a rare one. The fact that the Eevee is selling for $25 might mean the Pikachu one, which is both more popular and more rare, would be significantly higher. I would not be surprised if it went for over $100. We don't have a copy of this card available yet for sale, but yeah, $100 might be the going price for this card. If you guys have not had a chance to open up some Champions pack packs yet, then don't worry, there is a ton more Champions Pack products to come. In fact, on October 2nd, which I think is tomorrow, there will be another release of some new pin collections for Champions Path. These pin collections are going for around $25 retail. They will contain five Champions Path packs, as well as two pins representing some Galar Gym Leaders. So very, very cool. Can't wait to get them. And there are going to be a bunch more Champions Path products that are going to be released in October all the way till November. So there's gonna be plenty of Champions Path products to come. In fact, there will be another wave of Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes. So if you do not have a Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes yet, then there will be more. In fact, wave two, based on what distributors are saying, is going to be twice as big as the first wave. This is going to hit stores around late October. Besides the Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes, there will also be a premium collection, a bunch more pin collections as well, so plenty of products to open up Champions Path. The price point for the Charizard V, the shiny version, as well as the Hyper Rare Charizard V Max has dropped significantly over the last week. Before release, both cars were selling for around $1,000 to $2,000. After the release, prices did drop significantly. Currently, both cars are floating around $500 per card, and they've actually stayed steady at that price. I do expect the car's prices to continue to drop over the next couple of weeks as more people open up Champion's Path and the hype starts to die down and most people that want to get a copy will be able to get a copy. How low will prices go? It's hard to say. Considering the fact that it's already staying strong at 500, it might not drop much more than that. I do know some collectors who are eyeing the card and trying to snipe it for the right price. How low? I would expect the car to go no lower than really $300. At that price point, I know plenty of collectors who are willing to scoop up most of the market. So if you can get one, I might wait another week or two. And probably that's going to be as low as we will see in the foreseeable future. Prices will eventually go up on the card as Champion's Path grows older and older and becomes more vintage. It's not a vintage set yet, not even close. It's a brand new set. So you're talking about years and years down the line. But in general, I think this is gonna be a really popular set. So if you are looking to get a copy, hold out on it. 
there will be cheaper ones available. I think a good price point for me, and I'm gonna be patient, is around $300 to $400, and that's the prices that I would recommend you guys, um, if you are looking to purchase one, to go in at. I just don't see this card ever going below that. I just know too many collectors who want it and are trying to get a copy at $300 and $400 for it to ever really foreseeably reach uh, under $100 for an underrated copy or something like that. All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Have you been able to pull some super cool cards from your Champions pack Packs yet? The comment section on my videos have been absolutely on fire. So many people are saying that they've pulled the cards as well as some people saying they've opened up 100 packs and have not pulled the cards yet. And a lot of people are speculating what will go up and what will go down. It's been a lot of fun to read. So I'm definitely gonna look forward to it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.